Right, and uh, moving along now as we've been reporting here on Morning Live on the situation in Lesotho, we now joined on the line by the former Deputy Prime Minister of Lesotho, Mushompe Muteja Metzing. And Dr. Metzing, good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Live. Can you confirm the reports for, that, for us that you have indeed fled the country? Yes, no, that is true. I have left the country. I, I have been in South Africa since yesterday. But what are your reasons for fleeing at the meeting? Pardon? What are your reasons for, for leaving Lesotho? Okay, May, uh, there is a reign of terror now in the country. I left the country after receiving a tip off that a convoy of heavily armed po uh, police are headed to my place to go and uh, arrest me after they have arrested my deputy, after they have been having my deputy in custody since Monday, and he has been tortured all throughout Monday and Tuesday. He is now in jail in a very bad condition. Now uh, the ultimate end was to go and also get me, and I received a plan that... Oh, apologies on that one. We have lost uh, the former Lesotho Deputy Prime Minister Muteja Metzing, who has uh, basically confirmed the reports for us that indeed he had to flee Lesotho yesterday following uh, a tip of that uh, a convoy of heavily armed men were making their way uh, to his place. This, of course, after his deputy was arrested earlier this week on Monday. We are going to be uh, focusing on this issue. We'll try to get him back on the line uh, to get a feel as to how things unfold. I mean, a lot of people saying that we are in a way sort of uh, seeing a replay of the events that unfolded when uh, uh, Ndate Metzing and others were in power. Uh, that is when the current uh, Prime Minister Ndate Tom Tabani had to flee Lesotho for his safety, of course, uh, to, South to South Africa. But we are uh, going to be trying to get uh, Ndate Metzing back on the line. Let's move on now and back to...